Hello, my name is Andrzej Skrzypacz. I'm a professor of economics at the Graduate School of Business at the Stanford University. Uh, Stanford is located in California in the Silicon Valley. And as you can see, we have a beautiful day today. Uh, the topic of the class today will be probability. Uh, what is a probability? Probability is a way of thinking about situations where outcomes of our actions are uncertain or the outcomes of some events are uncertain. For example, today I checked the weather forecast and the, the forecast was that there's a 5% chance of rain. Given it's only 5% chance, I thought, well, what does it mean 5%? Well, 5% means that out of 100 days, I should expect about five of them to actually be rainy. Given it was only 5%, I decided not to take my umbrella and it turns out it was a good decision. In general, probability is used a lot of in science in trying to detect patterns in, in data in what we observe. Uh, weather is a one example, trying to predict uh, waves for surfers so that they can come on a good day to the beach for, for a good swell. That's another good example of, of trying to predict from patterns in one part of the earth what am I going to see in, on my beach tomorrow? Probability is also used in sports. Uh, you can think, for example, about a basketball player who has different probability of making a shot depending on where he stands on the court. A good example of thinking about it is a decision whether to take a three-point shot or a two-point shot walking closer to the basket. At the same time, there are things which we can assign probabilities but it doesn't allow us to predict well. Think about tossing a coin. When you toss a coin, we would say there's probably one half or 50% that will come out tails and 50% or one half that will come up heads. We can assign probabilities, but that doesn't really help us guess whether it will be heads or tails. Take a coin and throw it and see whether it comes up heads or tails. Suppose it comes heads. Throw the coin second time and see whether it comes up heads or tails. Suppose it comes up heads the second time. Now think about throwing the third time. Do you think it is more likely for the third time it will come up heads or tails? Probabilities are around us all the time. And as a result, people form a lot of intuitions about probabilities. At the same time, to make successful decisions, Often understanding some probability theories can, can make us make even better decisions. You can think about engineers trying to build a spaceship to send it to Mars. It's not that we want to send a thousand of them and learn by trial and error which ways work. We would like to be able to compute things ahead of time to, to send the spaceship to Mars so it hits the first time. Doesn't always work, but we try to minimize the chances we will miss the planet. There are a lot of examples of situations where experts make decisions for us. There are people whose job is to make predictions about weather, especially for companies whose business depends very much on weather. Think about a manager of a power plant who has to predict whether the electricity will be needed or not. That very much depends on how much wind there is. Another field in which there's a lot of people who work on trying to predict outcomes and to calculate probabilities of certain outcomes is finance. There are people working in banks whose job is to pick companies to invest in and the decision whether to invest or not depends on their estimates of probabilities whether certain inventions will be profitable or not. You may wonder whether there is still a lot of areas in science where we are trying to compute probabilities, that we are far from knowing what the patterns are that, that would give us probabilities. A good example of that would be weather. While weather forecasts for the next day are fairly accurate, if you think about weather forecasts for a week from today, they tend to be very inaccurate. Another great area that we would love to have better probabilities to predict better is earthquakes. That we still don't have good ways of predicting when earthquakes and where would they appear. And the third thing could be curing cancer. We would like to have better models that predict which kinds of cures work for which particular cancer. I would like to invite you now to your lesson to learn more about probabilities. And there is a hope that if you learn it and you decide you like it, you can become a scientist and create great discoveries for us all.